Considering GME has earnings tomorrow, I think we should really break this down. What's important, what's not, how's GME likely to move, at least from what we can tell so far, and what could happen with AMC stock. So we have the latest for you here in this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you guys do want to come trade some of these biggest events with me every time I make a trade, post it in there. There's some tools you guys can use as well. Link down below in the description of this video. So what we have, right? Let's let's talk about earnings here and after hours as well. You're going to have Dave and Busters and Stitch Fix. Those are going to be uh, really the two that I think markets care about, care about, I mean, they don't really care about them. They're the biggest earnings we have today. Tomorrow, pre-market pre is Ollie's and Campbell's. But Wednesday after hours, you're going to have GameStop and Trip.com. Now, GameStop, obviously, as we know, is going to be an insanely important earnings for meme stocks, for AMC, for GME. And what we've seen as far as actual positioning so far looks pretty dang good. You're getting some suppression in AMC from hedge funds and institutional investors with some of those options, those deep in the money puts. But with GME, it's quite the opposite. And AMC obviously has its own um, shit show currently going on, which is the court case. And that's the biggest catalyst ultimately for AMC. But GME is also a very big catalyst. And GME specifically looks pretty good heading into earnings. Now, that makes me a little concerned, just a little, that maybe a lot of good things are already priced into GME earnings. So I think it it raises the bar a little bit that GME has to perform to in order to get a big rally in the stock. And let me show you guys what I, I really mean by that. If you look at GME's share price, I mean, it's still down a lot. So don't let my comments kind of discourage you. It's still down a lot. I mean, it's been on a downward trajectory. Well, what you've seen recently after last quarter's earnings, you actually had a surprise profit profit from GME for the first time in 2 years. Well, the stock rallied about 35% that day. It rallied a couple days into earnings as well. And then rallied, kind of came down, trended down, went all the way down to about $18 per share. And now you're sitting at $24.64 per share. You are up 36.5% from the um, beginning of May. So about a month here, you're up 35%, 36%. So you've you've kind of, based off of what I could tell from the stock, kind of expecting decent results from GME. You're not expecting a total washout, terrible earnings. But it, it, if you do get better than expected earnings still, you're likely to still see a rally. Now, GME's actual earnings expectations are for a loss per share of 12 cents and that's the biggest thing that ultimately could kind of fluctuate right if gme loses more than 12 cents per share it's going to be a very negative for the stock that's for sure we we can basically understand that now if the loss per share is still negative but not as bad as what we're expecting well i think now that you've rallied 35% it's still not going to be good. It's not going to be good enough. Call it if you have a loss per share of $0.08. Cents, not going to be good enough. But let's say you have a loss per share of $0.01 cent or break even or slightly profitable. That's where you're going to get a bigger upside move in my personal opinion. You have to get close to, if not actually get a profit, to get an upside move after GME earnings. Now, if GME does come out with a similar quarter as last quarter and they made 48 million in net profits last quarter, if that can happen again, just the same as last quarter, stock's going to be 35 to $40 per share. That's almost, almost a guarantee. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing is a guarantee. Anything can happen. But at that point, I would expect to see a massive rally 
in GME. A 35 uh, thir to $35 per share would be a rally of about 42%. A rally to $40 per share would be a 63% rally. And I think this would happen throughout the rest of this week. So this would be something that I would expect to happen this week. Well, if you do not have good earnings, if things are kind of muted or not as good as last quarter or, or much worse than last quarter, well, you probably are going to fall a good 15, 20%, probably back down to the $18 level. So you're expecting a lot of volatility from GME earnings, the way that the actual stock is performing it looks like you're going to get some positive earnings. Now, if we take a look at some of the option activity here today with GME, you have seen two orders totaling uh, $187,500, positive order value of 69%. If we take a look at the last week, you have seen 16 orders totaling $1.68 million, positive order value of 84%. A couple things could be happening here. This could be some short sellers that are short in um in GME coming out and trying to hedge out some of their short positions heading into this week's option expiration as we do have GME earnings that is a possibility and that would make some sense why you're seeing a lot of bullish option activity and after all GME short interest is around 20% you do have 1.2 to five billion dollars worth of short positions currently on GME with a days to cover of 16. There's a lot of pressure on hedge funds uh, that are short in GME heading into this earnings season. And to hedge that out, hedge that risk out would make some sense here. Now, cost to borrow fees being in the 10% range, interactive brokers has it at seven and a half percent with about a million shares that are currently able to be uh, lent out. Now, Days to cover being so high at, at, at 15 puts a lot of pressure on shorts if you get a bullish reaction from GME earnings. There's currently almost 53 million shares sold short in GME, and even GME's volume today is 2.5 million. So like, there's not a lot of, of shares trading hands, and there's a lot of shares that are currently sold short. So my bottom line expectation from GME earnings tomorrow is, is for a big move. I personally think it's going to be an upside move, but it's possible it could be a downside move. Now, for AMC stock, I think things are a little bit different. Obviously, the stock is not priced as well as GME. It hasn't been rallying, and I think that's where a little bit more opportunity comes in line with AMC than what we had just a couple of days ago, right? Because AMC has started to recover, but it's already expecting negative things over the next couple of, of weeks and months. You're you're not pricing in a lot of good news with AMC. So if GME does come out, have, have a positive earning surprise, some of those market maker shorts will have to get bought back and they will cover on those short positions. So I think a good rule of thumb, uh, kind of this earning season with GME and how it will affect AMC, I think that you can kind of look at this like if GME rallies, 20% AMC likely rallies 10%. I think 50% uh, could go to something like AMC. And we actually seen this happen with like a NVIDIA. NVIDIA on their earnings rallied, call it 20% right after earnings. <coughs> AMD rallied about 10%. And actually, some of the best trades can be in some of these sympathy trades. So the place to be in GME earnings or with GME earnings might be AMC, and, and that would be because AMC's share price is a lot lower, and it hasn't ran up the same way that GME has. Ultimately, I think playing both of these for earnings is probably the best way to do it. Now, if you look at AMC, the RSI, you are on the oversold side. If you look at GME's over, if you look at GME's RSI, you are on the overbought side. So they're totally different on the momentum here, right? Bearish AMC momentum. And I think that has to do with the court case and the suppression of AMC stock by options, by hedge funds and institutions. GME, it's the complete opposite. There's not a court case. There's, you know, their second positive earnings report in a row, possibly, that really could 
screw shorts. So shorts mainly, I think, are hedging out those positions with some of the option activity, which is also helping to drive up GME's share price. So I like both of these stocks heading into uh, GME earnings. Now, ultimately, they're kind of similar, right? Days to cover on AMC is increasing. Their short interest is both the same, but AMC does have a lot of those market maker shorts. So you could get a gamma squeeze a little bit easier in AMC than you could in something like GME. And if we take a look at the option activity, GME's is bullish, AMC's is bearish. And ultimately, the more bearish uh, people are on AMC, the harder you tend to rally historically. So I, I, I do think that is also um, a positive if you look at it in terms of starting a new position. You want to start a new position, as Jim Chano says, before the rally happens not after the rally is starting or happening right now would be the time you would actually want to open a position on amc theoretically if that's what you wanted to do now like i said in the last video very dry week as far as data so it's not like you're going to have real data affecting amc or gme coming tomorrow you're not really going to have too many earnings we just looked at the calendar there's there's nothing substantial there it's a whole lot of nothing. It's a whole lot of nothing. Um, some Canada data that comes out tomorrow. We got a balance of trade that comes out tomorrow. None of that's going to move the markets. So a lot of this is just going to be digestion from the Apple event. There was a lot of partnerships that were announced. People are trying to figure out how does this headset create more value or less value for Apple. And I think stocks are just in an overall vulnerable position. Uh, there's a lot of profits out there. You're, I mean... You just started what is, I mean, well, you, you're just technically ending Q2. Um, so I think there's going to be a little bit of rebalancing. And I think some of your small and mid-cap stocks might actually be the ones to benefit more in this next quarter, or really the next six months until the end of 2023. And that's kind of where I want to position my overall portfolio. I think if big tech does get a bid lower as city thinks will likely happen to big tech, that could also uh, put some pressure on hedge funds and institutions and their collateral uh, positions, right? So that's kind of what I got for you guys. There's really nothing else that is happening of significance today. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Where do you think AMC stock could go? I personally think if GME has rock solid earnings and you kind of do get a little bit of that gamma squeeze, you could end the week by $6 per share. That's possible. More, more likely, you got to break out above $5. You got to break out above $5.30 per share where these moving averages are. If you do, that's where you could see a lot more upside from here, especially around that $5 strike. There's a lot of open interest at that $5 strike that would need, uh, you know, to to have shares bought back. Yeah, so that could be pretty big as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.